What is up guys, Jake here with our next, uh, we're gonna sort of combine, but we're gonna label it as the live attack video, but it's also gonna be sort of a pseudo recap video. I sort of missed that uh, with the busy weekend and all. Uh, and an update video as far as the system that we have and how it's going to work. Uh, we are approaching um, a few more spots in the main clan. We have uh, kicked a few people for an activity, things like that, just like I promised you we would. And everything is go moving through the feeder clan now. Uh, Genesis is a, it's, I've got leadership in place. We're, you know, they are there as a feeder clan and it is going to function as that. People are going to move up from the feeder. We're not going to be accepting new people into this clan directly. So always be looking for that. Uh, they're going to be having more space available. We're going to be having more space available. Plus we will continue to try to keep only the active people and the people that, that want to be here. Uh, so always be looking for Genesis. Even if you see a spot opened up in this clan, don't bother applying. It will only be filled through the feeder clan. So always be looking there. Um, and everything's going great. You know, uh, again, more spots are opening up, uh, having some really active guys, some really good attacks and things like that, and doing really good, both clans doing very, very well in our wars. Now, that being said, uh, again, an update video sort of for the, uh, the recap that didn't happen over the holiday weekend uh, with the birthdays and everything. I was just too busy, uh, but we actually killed it. Uh, I was surprised. I thought it would be a closer uh, fight. You see right there, Dangerous World uh, versus One Kingdom, 68-10 to 38-40. So really crushed them, and we are obviously crushing this one as well. But we are clearly going to win this uh, this Kingdom League and move up to the Arrow League and get that reward. So awesome job to everybody. And as I said, this is going to be a live attack video as well. So let's get into this one now this is, could be a little bit tricky uh they've got some much higher bases towards the end here so you guys will probably see me lose an attack or two here but we'll see uh let's start this off just taking out that catapult and moving in towards those troop portals once that goes down though uh everything will be fine we'll send in from the opposite side here with a little bit of tanking and just overwhelm it with some dps actually we'll take that out as well fly this dragon over there just to Take care of them for a moment, and we'll fly him over there. Take that guy out, and this one's over. All right, moving on. All right. Um, I've, I think it's, you know, this Nyrax thing, I don't know. Maybe if I keep upgrading him, he'll be all right taking out these catapults, but I think the day's coming when I'm going to have to branch out. It's just been so successful for me right now, it's hard to. Uh, but I need to, I'm getting not too far away from upgrading this account to Stronghold 7. So that will be interesting to see how that goes. Uh, we'll grab this troop portal real quick. And let's see, what are we going to do here? Let's come in. Let's just bring him over here. And let's just come in from the top. By the time that happens, the dragon should be down there. Right there. Fast forward a little bit. There, the dragon's on it. Let's go ahead and freeze that. Take him out, and we should be good. Boom. All right. Very good, very good. Moving along. Let me know in the comments how you guys, uh, if you're in a different kingdom and you, and you watch the channel, how you're doing in, in your wars, uh, if you're having success or if you're having trouble finding people that are, you know, that are active or doing their attacks or if they are doing their attacks, having trouble getting to that king. We've been pretty successful with that. Uh, the vast majority of our uh, kingdom does get all the way to the king each each war so far. Uh, this one, see, these are the ones that are, to me, I don't know if it's just me, if, if you guys are as well. These are the ones I have more trouble with. These tight bases like this, I can't pick off any troop uh, portals to get extra uh, mana to start with. I just got to sort of go for it. Uh, let's see here. His catapult, you know, he's only got one. Let's see right here. We'll have to be able to take it out. Boom. There we go. We should be fine now. Once the catapult goes down with this strategy, uh, I've not had much trouble. Oop, my dragon went down before I wanted it to, really. That's all right. There we go. No problem. Okay. Still hoping to get uh, in touch. I've not done it yet. Again, I'm trying to catch up from the long weekend and all at work, uh, but still trying to get in touch, uh, get the email together to get in touch with Space Ape and really uh, try to convince them that replays are a huge part of any type of strategy game like this uh, just for the ability to learn. Here's this 
thing that we see pretty often, you'll see how ineffective this strategy is. You just drop your dragon, fast forward, bring him down to the bottom, fast forward, take that out, bring him over here, fast forward. And once that goes down, we will take out this first catapult. Right there, he's gone. We'll send the dragon up. Well, in just a few seconds we will. We'll go ahead and come in. And that's a good point there. Someone pointed this out, and I'm going to take a few seconds to talk about this. Look inside this base here. When I drag, when you take out a... I can drop inside the walls now. Uh, unlike in Clash of Clans, it makes it to where if that is no longer there, I can now drop in that space, and you can just drop your troops right in there and just go to wrecking stuff. Uh, we'll send the dragon across just to take that out. But you see how quickly that happened. Uh, when you can get inside, especially on higher level basis with higher level walls, if you take out something like that with Nyrex, uh, it really makes it easy to get in there and wreck that base. Alright. I mean, we got through here. We got, we're doing pretty good. I think he's got a couple of town hall, or excuse me, stronghold sevens. What are we going to run into? Yeah, seven and the king is an eight. So this could get interesting for sure in a few more attacks. Alright, come on now. Okay, he's got a few troop portals out here for us. We're going to take advantage of that. And as soon as that one goes down, we're going to take out... Right here, because of that, I uh, keep forgetting the name of that thing. I'm going to take out the catapult that's next to that charger that makes it shoot faster. That way, uh, then I'll drop my maulers up there and just distract with them and send my um, uh, wardens in right onto that catapult boom it's down now the major threat's over uh, we'll get a few more th whoops dragon went down I was about to send him across the base that's all right most of those maulers or excuse me most of those uh wardens going right to the stronghold uh, so once it goes down we'll take out one of these defenses with our top ability and we will be in good shape boom it goes down right there we'll send a few distraction troops in here and that one's done for fast forward so you didn't see that little guy down there. It's all right. We'll drop another couple of troops down there. Resume the fast forward. Isn't that fast forward great? So, okay. Good drink here. And moving right along. Okay. Let's see what we got on this base. Oh man, I don't know why people keep doing this. I mean, that's so, it gives you such an advantage to have that troop, those troop wars right there. You could take them out with nothing attacking you. Uh, let's move him up right here. And which one are we going to take out here? Let's see, I want to come in, probably rather come in from the top. I'm going to take this bottom one out. Right there. This just got, just got a perfect squared off base as far as, uh, defenses goes he's just got it to where everything surrounding that stronghold which sometimes that can work not always we'll send the dragon across here freeze everything just for a moment right there we're looking pretty good as soon as that dragon gets his ability we'll try to send him back across but without the any splash damage that both wizard towers are down and the we'll go ahead and take that out so the dragon lives uh, with this, both splash damage down and the uh, catapults the Wizard Towers, all that. These Wardens are just going to mop up, so no big deal there. Okay, boom, it's down. And we will fast forward. Not the best base set up there. Had exposed troop portals and had everything very compact. Compact's good, but uh, you, can, you can take it too far. Okay, moving up. We got a couple more, and then we're going to the Sentinel. So that's when things will get interesting, I think. These are worth 35. And again, look at that, giving me all that free. <laughs> I don't understand people. Giving that, just making it so much easier. Fast forward, let that dragon take all that out. And look at that, he's got it, both of his catapults by, by, by his charger. We'll take one of those out. Uh, and what I'll do is move this dragon down here in just a moment to this, uh, the... You know, the clan requester there. I don't know what, that, what you call that. The troop portal right there that you get your CC troops from. Um, then we'll just send in from the bottom. Try to sort of avoid that uh, last catapult. Uh, but in just a few more buildings, I'll have enough uh, to take out it as well. And once that goes down, 
it is all over right here one more building right there catapults down uh, we'll fly this dragon across let him freeze a few things uh, just fast forward it's over there we go also let me know how you know it's without being able to see a lot of replays it's hard to know what other people are having success with as well so let me know what you guys are having success with as far as troop combinations uh, at this sort of stronghold level uh, maybe what uh, what other ancients you're using besides Nyrex I know some people are using the, the Kung Fu guy what's his name uh, the Samurai Code guy to get uh, some, have some pretty good success with that so that's cool uh, but what else are you using anything that maybe that you haven't seen yet that on, on YouTube anyways that a lot of people aren't using alright right there the last troop portal goes down we'll fly him up here to grab that one we'll take out this guy there uh, and then we can just send right in on this uh, catapult we'll take it out with a, our tanks right there boom and then we should be fine here moving straight in Okay, we're gonna have some more mana coming right there. Boom, a couple more buildings. We'll be able to take out another defensive structure. That's why I think this is so OP. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I'm gonna be have taken out uh, two defensive structures right here before I even got to the stronghold. So right there, that goes down. Is that the dragon gonna win? I don't think he's gonna lose. We'll fly over, freeze everything, take that out. There we go. We're good. All is well. Up a few troops right. Oops. A few right there. Take that out. Boom. Another epic victory. All right, guys. Here's where it's going to get good. I think I think we're at the Sentinel now. So we'll see uh, what he is packing. I think he's a Stronghold 7. Yep, Stronghold 7. Sentinel is going to get a 10% boost to everything. Uh, this one could be, could be tough, depending on his base layout. What do we got here? What a not very smart person. Give me all that stuff. I'm able to take it out. He's got a, this is not good. This is not a good base at all. Not a good one to pick for your Sentinel guys. Mm, come on, take that out. Crap. Uh, I'll just come in from that direction. Well, it's all open down here. Yeah, I'll come in from that direction. Take out that last troop portal. We'll take out that. A catapult that's farthest away because they're going to get my uh, wardens are going to get in range of that. Come on, dragon, take that out. Boom. We'll take that one out and then we'll just distract with these guys. And then right here, we're going to get some extra mana and get in there to that catapult pretty quickly here. Right there, boom. And now they'll lock on to that catapult in just a moment. And then we'll have enough mana and a few more buildings to go down to get another defensive taken out. Maybe we'll take out one of these uh, wizard towers here. We'll take this one out. Right there. All right, we should be getting in there, locking onto the stronghold pretty quick. We need to get that. Okay, that wizard tower went down. That was our last real threat. Uh, we can just fast forward because this one's over. Stronghold's about to go down. Boom. We'll take you out. We'll drop you right there. Okay, so there we go, moving along. I'm interested to see as I get more uh, troops of how this my strategy will change because this is so effective. Uh, I don't know how much it'll change. We'll see. I'm interested. I need to get, I need to get on the little grind a little bit more. All right, guys, here we go. The king, uh, stronghold eight. I don't know that I've attacked many strongholds. Maybe I haven't. Just didn't know it. But this could be this could be tough. Uh, not the worst base I've ever seen. He is going to give me quite a bit of free. Uh, mana, which is a mistake, but we'll see what what happens here. I mean, I don't understand spreading this stuff out. It's not like time is an issue in this game as it sits right now. All right, get over there. Take that out. Let me look at this base a little bit. I'm going to take out that catapult that is charged, obviously. Uh, that's going to be step number one, and then I'm probably just going to come in from the top and bum rush that stronghold. Uh, so I think a lot of his charged defenses won't even be in range. I think that's what I'm going to do. All right, we'll fast forward here. So we get enough to take that first catapult out right there. It's going down. Now let's send in the troops. Our wardens, our maulers. Uh, here in just a moment, I'll fly this dragon across just to take out a bunch of defenses for a moment. Right there, boom. We'll fly it down here, take out that catapult for a moment. Okay, where are we looking? 
I think we're good. We're going to take out that stronghold so quickly. There is some uh, uh, more, oh, excuse me, there was a few of my archers in range, but not many right there. Stronghold goes down. Catapult's going to get taken out. Uh, we'll drop a few distraction troops in here just to protect my, my wardens. Do a freeze right here. Another distraction troop. Yeah, it doesn't matter. We'll fast forward because it doesn't matter here. We we got the stronghold. All that matters. Good job. Perfect. Another perfect one with no losses. Uh, I think maybe I perform better when you guys are watching or something. But this is, a, again, uh, this war has already been determined. Uh, we're at 8,500 to 1,600. Uh, and we uh, come, you know, how many hours is it now? Uh, six hours from now, we're going to win this one. We're going to be promoted up. I think we're going to have a 12-hour cooldown, and then you guys will be able to see us do our next war. So we'll be looking for that uh, spots open in Genesis. Good luck to you guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time, Jake reminding you guys to suck less.